Hello, I'm Abbie X Toy Cam. Welcome back to the video. Today we're talking about item transport in Minecraft. This is something that will come up if you have a big survival world with lots of different bits you need to link together, or if you're just playing a survival serve where everything needs to be going to the same place. Basically, moving items around Minecraft is something you have to do on a semi regular basis, and if you try to do it by hand with tens or hundreds of stacks, it can get really, really painful really, really fast. So, today, what I'll be showing you is a way to automate item transport, and not just one way to do it, three separate ways to do it, as well as a comparison of the three, so you can know which you should do in your Minecraft world. So, hopefully, you do all enjoy today's video. If you do like it, like the video and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and let us know you do like these sorts of videos about, I don't know, item automation, but more seriously, uh, yeah, hopefully you do all enjoy this. Let's get straight into it. So let's start by kind of talking about what's going on here. The reason I decided to do all this testing and the reason I have so much kind of test between the three is because in my Minecraft Let's Play world, I was just going to be like, oh yeah, I need to look, uh, you know, hook up my two bases. I'm going to use a big uh, series of hoppers or even two series of hoppers to link one to the other because hoppers had just come out when I came up with the idea and I've always just had it in my head that this is the best way to send items from one side to the other. So yeah, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be like testing this versus some other methods because I want to know personally which one I want to use as well as give all of you the kind of, uh, oh yeah, if your world is like this and this, then do this. Or if you have a different type of world to meet, you can do it that way. So yeah, that's all I'll be kind of, uh, you know, letting you know in today's video. Hopefully you're learning something. So uh, yeah, the first system, like I said, is of course, uh, you know, using the hopper system all in one place because basically this is just, oh yeah, it goes from one hop to the other, to the other, etc. And it's really, really handy if you have a system on either side. So let's say on this system, uh, so we'll wait for it to arrive. On this side of the system, you have, let's say, an automatic chest sorter that will sort your diamonds from your ender pearls from you, etc. Uh, if, if, if you have that on this side, on the other side, you have like a weird collection of like hoppers underneath your thing. Then this is really cool because it fits into that already. Uh, it's not so cool because it takes quite some time. You saw how it took about a minute just to do 80 blocks right there. So yeah, uh, that's that's the kind of first system I want to show you. The second one that came to my mind was one that came out, uh, you know, it, it only started to exist about like I don't know, like 20 updates ago or something like that. So not too long ago, or not too recently, but not too long ago either. Basically, uh, you know, there's a weird property in Minecraft where if you put ice below water, it makes the water flow faster. And it doesn't make the animation go faster. As you can see, this is regular water flow. But if you put items in the water, it makes them go significantly faster. Look at this speed on the, <laughs> on the diamonds right there. They're going faster than even I can manage. They're in our friend distance right now. And this is the second, uh, you know, kind of thing that came to my mind. So I was like, wow, yeah, that's, that's a cool thing from a previous system. I'd love to see if this is like viable because if this the best way to you know transport items i want to do that so yeah just like that you can see the same distance that took about a minute is done in about 10 seconds with ice and water and then we've got the third system here which uh, only really came to my mind and i like uh, you know a little bit afterwards and i was like wait a minute yeah obviously this is like one of the key systems and basically this is a way to um you know transport things with you with a minecart grid using the minecart of chests so the minecart of chests is probably one of the most least used items in minecraft like one of the most one of the least used items in minecraft i guess uh, and and the reason for that is because it just seems kind of weird and clunky and you need minecarts ready, but it is a really efficient way to transport stuff because especially on console, you can see just how fast this minecart chest goes. A journey that was a minute or 10 seconds is done in about five seconds of this. So yeah, almost double as fast as the next alternative. What are the upsides and downsides of each then? So obviously, as you just saw there, based on our free test, then the, you know, by placing diamonds in here and then moving it, this is the fastest system because it just, you know, it just goes from one side of the thing to the other. If you have a giant world, because this is 80 blocks, which is about 10th of a 360 or PS3 size world, then this is going to take about, you know, 50 seconds. This takes just under two minutes and this is going to take five minutes. So yeah, pretty significant difference between the, the oh no, this is going to take 10 minutes. Sorry, I, I did my mental math wrong there. So 10 minutes, to, uh, you know, two minutes under a minute. It, it kind of seems clear that if speed is your option, this is the one you want, but it's not as simple as that because when you're in survival, you don't have an infinite amount of resources. You might not have an infinite amount of rail or you've got to deal with the fact that there are monsters on the surface. So uh, yeah, that means that the minecart uh, is the best system if you want to use it with a minecart too, because you know, that kind of doubles up as a secondary purpose or it's best if you have a place that's going to be going up and down a lot because minecarts are really good at going up and down here. Obviously this is a perfectly flat system just for a fair test but you can go up and down hills and through caves and that sort of stuff so this is the best system I think if you want the fastest system or if you want to do something cool where you hop on or if you're going up and down. So actually the minecart of chest is probably one of the better systems for all those reasons. However uh, the you know this second system here is better for one reason and that reason is cost because you've got to think that you know using this much rail this is 80 blocks if you wanted to go 800 it's going to take you about like 10 20 stacks of rails something like that to go from one side to the other and that's a lot so you know that's a lot of iron sacrifice that's a lot of gold and redstone and you know you need lots of resources to make it however all you need to make one of these uh, you know ice slopes is about you know the same distance 10 stacks of uh, you know ice which you know for a lot of people seems hard but what you need is a silk touch pickaxe and boom it's done you've got yourself away from one side of the world to the other so yeah uh, basically silk touch get yourself some ice then transport stuff across the map easy enough to do uh, 
uh, and that makes this one the cheapest system. So yeah, what does this have going for it? It has cheap going, and because it's not too much slower, and for all practical terms, do you need to be that fast? Uh, you can kind of argue it's pretty good. However, the downside to kind of make up for the fact that all you need is ice and you know whatever block you want. I use prismarine because it kind of matches, but you can use anything you want. Uh, the downside to that is that one, uh, you know, the system at the end has to be carefully made, as you can see, some fit standing on the chest. But even if you get that done properly right, then it's the whole kind of thing of like, oh, this only works downhill. Unlike the minecart, which goes up, down, left, right, etc. This only really works downhill, and it has problems switching directions. Uh, you, you know, you might have stuff go on the side. So yeah, basically you have to be kind of cautious what you're doing here. It, it's a little bit more rigid. It's not quite as flexible as a minecart track, but it is cheaper. So yeah, this is a system that I think wins as far as cheap goes. It wins as far as like coolness goes, but it doesn't win as far as flexibility. And then finally, we've got the, uh, you know, the system that I was going to use originally, which is the hoppers. So again, just by time, we've got like, you know, 10 minutes, two minutes, a minute already. Uh, by cost, we've got like, oh, this requires like some ice, which is pretty cheap. This requires quite a bit of iron, which is pretty expensive. This requires so much more. For this, for, so for the same comparison, 800 blocks all the way across your map, this would take, uh, you know, this is, that would be 800 hoppers. That would take you, I believe, uh, you know, if they use uh, five each, 4,000 uh, separate, you know, pieces of iron, as well as some chests. So yeah, 4,000 iron ingots. It's actually quite a lot. You know, I don't need to tell you that much, right? That's something like, you know, just under 100 stacks, like 78 or something like that, just to kind of look at hook up one side of the world to the other. If you're doing even further than that, then even more iron. And since most people don't have that much iron, that's the prohibiting factor. Uh, and also, you'll bear in mind, when you spend all this, uh, you know, extra iron on something, you get a slower system. So why would you? Why would you spend more iron by a long shot to make a slower system? Well, there are two benefits I see to it. First of all, this is great because you can hook it into an existing system. If you have a lot of redstone on one end, like, you know, a farm, uh, you know, a gold farm or something, and you want to hook up the stuff to go somewhere else, that's really, really cool that you can do that all automatically. No human required in between. So yeah, this is the fully automatic system if there's something on either side. But the second thing I think is really cool is if you have lots of places going to the same one. So you can't do this with minecarts and you can barely do it with an ice slope. It has lots of problems if you do it that way. But what you can do with hoppers is you can hook up all the different parts of your world to the same place uh, uh, as long as it's going like to one center. So if you happen to have a Minecraft world with one giant base in the center or something like that, then you can hook up every other single part of your world. So let's say I've got my uh, my gold farm over there. I've got a cactus farm over here that's all hooked up to, hook it, uh, to hoppers. Sorry. And then over here, I can have my giant mecha, you know, library robot. I can have this hooked up by being like, okay, let's place all the things over here. Uh, you know, let, let's say over here is where my wood uh, farm goes from. So then you've got your wood farm hooked up. And then what you can do on the other side is you can be like, oh yeah, and then my mine, where all my diamonds come from. You can have every single resource and automatic, whether or not automatic, all, you know, going into ho uh, hoppers, which can all go to the exact same place, which I think is really, really, really cool. The fact that you can have, let's say, you know, this is, let's say this was 800 blocks and instead of three separate places, it's 30. You can have 30 separate places all linked to the same hopper, and then that hopper can then, uh, you know, automatically sort it into chests, which means everything in your Minecraft world could be automatically sorted if you had an amazing system like this. Admittedly, that's going to require so much work. Let's assume it's, you know, doubling the amount, like 10,000 separate iron ingots and a bunch of wood, but if you could get this system worked out, this would be the very best one, because again, you can make this amazing whole world system, but assuming that isn't the case, because for me at least, I don't have 10,000 iron yet, I would say the, the second best system is probably the minecart, because it does work for yourself too, and then the third best one, which I'm going to use at some point in my world, is probably this. So yeah, the system I'll be using is in the short term, minecart rails, because I've already got them for myself. Uh, the, then I'll be using this for like certain places, just because I think it's cool. But the long term goal, I think, for any Minecraft world, if you want to make the coolest, most automatic system, has to be hoppers everywhere. Because again, you hop, you, you hook up this to somewhere over there, you hook it up to somewhere in the thing, and suddenly you've got yourself this amazing, you know, whole world system that I, I think would be astounding to look at. And that's my kind of Minecraft goal right now. I want to get 10,000 iron and hook up everything in the Minecraft world all to the same place. And, you know, if you're wondering what my next big Minecraft goal project is, it's probably going to take years, that's probably going to be one of them. So hopefully you did all enjoy today's video, hopefully either you learned something about the best way to transport stuff, probably rail by the way, uh, but with the secondary thing of the slope, uh, or hopefully you at the very least, uh, you know, maybe inspired to be like, you know, I want to do the hopper thing too. Whichever it is, I hope you did all enjoy the video. If you did like it, like it and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do like um, these sorts of videos. Again, it's kind of build based, which I know is to a lot of people, it's kind of a weird and different to what I usually do. Um, share the video if you really liked it, because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do like, it really liked it, I guess. And also, 
um, you know, it's a good way to get the channel out there, and subscribe if you are new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and uh, if you subscribe, you'll see them dead on your homepage. A quick reminder, because people ask me all the time about things I've already covered in videos, if you go back and check my entire video catalogue, you can see stuff like how to mine diamonds fast, or how to do this or that, if you want to see the more basic stuff, and you can even see everything in this world has some form of video related story, including this pig over here, including those never portals, the rainbow beacon, the giant beacon, the giant redstone torch, the guardian which is trapped inside some uh, you know glass, every single uh, thing this uh, world has a, uh, has a story behind it, and uh, they're all in video. So just in case you are curious about what's going on here, maybe that helped you. Either way, thank you all very much for watching, because I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye everyone! Thank you.